Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. I keep wanting to say Enemy Unknown, but that's not actually true. So, weapon fragments, ship transfer to Af Africa, satellite operation over Nigeria, and cancel report. So, scan for activity. View abduction sites. Commander, we picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. So, we have a number of things we can get. We could get money, useful. We could get... Uh, scientists, which would be very useful, or engineers, which is also useful. All of them have pretty low panic levels, so I can pretty much do whatever I want. I think scientists are going to be most useful for us probably right now, so we're going to go that direction. Uh, it is moderate difficulty, but I think we'll be fine. So, I think all of my people are okay. I, I think these are the groups. I guess we're going to have to go to officer training school at some point soon. But, uh, Sniper Assault Heavy and, oh, this person hasn't been upgraded yet. What loadout can I give her? Can I give her a med kit? There we go. She'll be in the back anyway. Uh, Sniper will also have a med kit. Realistically, I doubt we're gonna ha have the need for it too much, but uh, unfortunately our support person is out of commission. I should probably customize their appearances too. Uh, Metaxis. I think it's Metaxis. Can I edit his name? Uh, customize. Customize. Last name. Metaxis. There we go. That way, no matter what, my uh, pronunciation is going to be right. I like his, uh, I like his mustache. What other mustaches can I give this guy? Ooh. There we go. Man! Uh, this is the only character I'm going to mess with right now. Everybody else is going to be off camera. Yep, that's a good one. Where's this hair? Hair color? Nope, hair helmet. There we go. I just... Yeah. It's dad. <laughs> I don't know why, but just like, uh, kind of... I guess the Ron Swanson look appeals to me right now. I think his hair is a little light, though. Whatever. We'll deal with that later. Uh, I might just make... Oh, man. I just might make all of them look like, uh, the same person. Clones across the board. That'd be hilarious. Anyway, launch mission. Considering, uh... You guys are here to watch me shoot stuff and not uh, pimp out my characters. I'll pimp them out between missions so they look, you know, a little bit more visually distinct. I'll probably have, you know, red, blue, yellow people. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Well then, begin assault. <laughs> Return to base. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. I was really hoping he would just say, Our location's going to be Canada. And it's like, yes. Okay. But no, he actually kept talking, so good for him. Anyway. Uh, neutralize all hostiles. I don't actually know if they're civilians. I don't ever remember there being much... Oh, yeah, there were. But usually it was like VIP missions, I think. God, I, don't, I don't remember. You guys probably know more about this game than I do, realistically. I mean, kind of depends on who's watching. If you've never seen an XCOM game before, you probably don't know more than I do. I've never actually played any of the older XCOM games either. Which, you know, I'd like to, but the problem is... This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Problem is, I am very picky about my, like, uh, my games and, like, how they look. And if they look too old and crappy, it's very hard for me wanna, to want to, you know, play it. Okay, so I guess I just sent our sniper in first. Anyway, not entirely sure why, but frame rate sc smoothing was uh, screwing us all up. Anyway, I really do need to, uh, A, remember what the class symbols look like, and B, uh, so let's bust in. Uh, let's see, how do I rotate the camera? This way. Busting in. Let's hope there aren't aliens in here. It'd be kind of hilariously unfortunate if there was. The answer is no. Well, that's convenient. Okay, so, in that case, she'll take the long way around. Take the long way. I guess frame rate smoothing wasn't the only uh, culprit here. I'm gonna have to tweak the settings a little bit, apparently. God, I need a new computer. Oh well, it does not matter that much. Realistically, it's gonna look fine. Not sure where the aliens are, though. They are, uh, elsewhere. Well, there they are. Oh, um, maybe it's around the canister? I have no idea, but there's like something on the... Oh, what the... 
heck was that? There's a thing. Uh, he does not have sight of it. Oh, it's it's one of the beacons. Well, we know what this guy's job's going to be. Uh, I think he's the sniper too, which is actually kind of a problem because I probably shouldn't be uh, sending him into... Oh, move and fire. Oh, dear. Well then, in that case, hunker down. Hope for the best. Uh, this lady's, I guess, just going to take the alternate way around. Let's see, where can I go? This place maybe has cover. I'm not, I don't want to go too far, so I don't, not sprinting. Hope. Oh, there are aliens in there. I think she has her grenade, but unfortunately they're not in a good spot for grenading. Well, uh, can't fire the rocket at the same time. So, we're just going to have to, uh, spray and pray. Can I hit him? Hmm. Can I hit the other guy? Yeah. Let's just hope for the best here. Answer is hoping to not work out. Okay, so we've got a couple of things we can go ooh, up. There we go. That's how you go up. In that case, uh, this is going to be... Oh, this will work. I'm going to send this guy up. I think he's the assault man, which is kind of hilarious, but uh, I guess he's going to pretend he's a sniper for today. The question is, are there going to be any aliens for us to even get close to. I guess we can uh, go up and over on the roof and stuff. And then this guy, I'm going to plop him. I'm just going to plop her. Sorry. And... Overwatch, I guess. Because it looks like there's the exploding thing over on the left. This woman's going to have to uh, kind of tango with these guys unless they decide to go different directions. Oh, he's boosting the other one. I forgot that they do that. Well, uh, interesting set of events. I guess worst comes to worst, Mr. Uh, Rooftop Man can do things for us. Or not. I don't know. Hard to tell. Please miss. And she missed. Okay, so goal is right now take out the guy that's boosting the other one, I think. And then, can he hit? Yes. Who can he headshot? Yes. Have a headshot. Probably should have uh, beelined for that thing. Oh well. Uh, I'll probably mess around with that later. Now the question is, do we fire the rocket at... Uh, could I hit both? I, oh, shot is blocked. I guess I have a 90% chance of hitting... Can I... Nope. Can I hit like there? We'll try. S for science. Well, I blew him up. To instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. I forgot about that. Well, glad she had the uh, little note there. So I was not going to remember that kind of business. Anyway, so it looks like this guy can dash quite a long distance. So we're going to, I think if I do this, run and gun, I think that's what it does. Enables you to fire, but not use items after dashing. So we're going to just hope that we get a good view of somebody. And looks like, I don't think he's going to take falling damage here. Doubt so. And he can shoot. Beautiful. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Not very good uh, in terms of my chances, but, you know, worth a shot. Didn't work. But it was worth a shot. Uh, this guy can't see anything, so I guess I'm just gonna run her in there. Right, it's a her, not a him. And then, okay, so we've got this guy, those are dead, and I guess we just have the one meld thing, and then we're good. Which, I'm a little bit on the concern side, oh, well, she got hit. I'm a little on the concern side of it exploding when I'm directly next to the, oh, well, we're taking some hits. I'm a little bit concerned about the meld thing exploding while we are trying to get to it, but, uh... Well, no time like the present to, uh, find things out. Hopefully it doesn't explode and immediately kill my sniper, but if it's going to... Just get it, just get it quick. Just, just grab it. You're right there. Well, that's a problem. Uh, okay. Let's just hope it doesn't uh, kill him, because 
bad position to be in. Anyway, that's pretty good odds if you ask me. Uh, still missed. I'm going to have to uh, send these people to accuracy training. Anyway, uh, shotgun. Still pretty bad. Okay. Oh, shoot, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, I still, I think I still took it out. Awesome. Okay, and then it's her. I think. Looks like we've got a lot more of these guys than I thought we did. Anyway, I guess let's just have her dash up to this truck, because we are nowhere close to being done. I thought we only had to deal with a couple of these little guys. Hey, there's the next one. Unfortunately, not sure how many turns we have either. Really hope that one meld doesn't blow up. Probably should have just, uh... Ooh, right. Enemies can shoot at him. Forgot about that bit. That's a problem. And apparently this person is uh, going for the def defenestration angle. Guess it kind of makes sense. It's uh, better than being out in the open. Anyway, please don't blow up on me. It... Oh, okay, so it doesn't blow up. It just, you know, stops being functional. Makes sense. Okay. Let's have him loop around the corner. And then... Do nothing because. Oh right. Uh, let's have him reload. He's pretty safe there. And, and then this lady. Can he? Can she hit? Not great on the chances, but I mean, pretty much it's just going to be a war of pot shots. And she succeeds. Awesome. Exploded into fragments as well. Okay. So how are we gonna do this guy? I could have him just like run in the building, but that seems like a horribly unwise decision. And that meld has five turns on it, so that's uh. That's better chances. How do we want to go about this? Because we could just bust in the door, but that seems like a terrible idea. Again, no cover. But she can hit one of these guys. Chances are not good, but they are there. Let's go for this guy. we we'll probably take him out if, you know, it hits. It hits! And a crit! There we go. So, that's good at least. And... Apparently that killed the other one. Yay! The labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. So apparently, if you finish the map before the meld canisters go off, then you just automatically get it. That's actually a really, uh, really nice little feature. Makes me happy. Okay, so... I guess... We go back, we pick our next research, because we're probably done with that kind of business, and then... I guess customize our soldiers, and I think I'll do that on camera, just talking. And if you guys don't want to see it, I'll just say goodbye. Because, yeah, makes sense. I like the little anti-alien symbol there. And it looks like, uh, yep, got my people wounded. Hopefully that won't be a problem. Run and gun! So she's assault. I think you can switch her, though. Because I'm not sure who I want everybody to have. Ten meld, ten weapon fragments, and a lot of sectoid corpses. Uh, new facility available, laboratory. Each lab increases research speed by 20%, and if you put them next to each other, they get an adjacency bonus. Good plan, and we get more science. Fortunately, everybody else is uh, panicking, and the uh, weird, creepy overlord man is like, we will be in touch. Anyway, let's go to mission control. Scan for activity for one day. Sign new research. Okay, so... Although alien weapon fragments provide a limited glimpse into the systems utilized in their equipment, we've seen enough to confirm my worst suspicions about their technology, that it is vastly superior to our own. However, I have been encouraged by the rapid developments the research team has made in studying the damaged circuitry and electronics we recovered. Our initial efforts have already yielded a successful outcome. The new integrated sighting module created for our weaponry was heavily influenced by the alien's own targeting system. So now you can get a scope uh, for manufacture and close this. So scope uh, increases soldier's aim. Probably going to be very useful. Anyway, we can do xenobiology, alien materials, or experimental warfare. Huh. But uh, that's going to be one of the longer ones, I think. So I'm going to go with these because I think every time you get a new tier, it goes faster. I don't know. Uh, ooh, body armor. Commander. I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. So, uh, note to self, don't use rockets unless you really need to, or use rockets against buildings, because no one cares about buildings, right? Right, okay, so, to engineering, what can I build and or buy? Scopes, uh, scopes are pretty cheap. I'm gonna buy a couple of them. Let's just go with four? 
three. I have no idea. I have no idea how useful they're going to be. I don't even know if they uh, are going to fight for a slot for anything else. Anyway, uh, last thing to check, facilities. So, we can build... Oh, right, I remember what I want to build. So, seeing as we've got labs and we've got enough scientists, I'm going to build one lab. And we don't have enough scientists, if I can get more. But my goal is to make this entire, like, top right block just nothing but labs. Also, I think the last time I ever played this, it was, like, steam here and steam here. Currently, the steam locations are pretty good. Uh, actually, is going to let me do a lot of things. Anyway, I think that's it for those things. So, to the barracks. What's well, officer training school? Oh, right. These are expensive. Uh, rank of sergeant. So we need to get one of our guys up first. We could hire soldiers, but we've got quite a number that are, you know, not active right now. Well, that, oh, no. My taxis. He's down. My taxes. Oh, well, our sniper is still good, and I guess our new assault woman is fine. So, I guess we're going to uh, customize a British man. He does not look British. So, you know what? I will say goodbye for those of you that don't want to watch me uh, changing these guys around so they look different. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode. And for those of you sticking with me, uh, if you guys, I mean, really just for anyone in general, if you want any say in what these guys are going to be named or you know, what they look like, just tell me and I'll switch them around, because apparently I have the ability for massive amounts of plastic surgery. Oui, commandant. Yes, commander. The French one is uh, maybe a little silly. Huh. And they actually have a number of voice backs for each character. Cool. Anyway. Wow. It's quite the difference on all these faces. It actually kind of works. Is that more like American-y? Kind of hard to tell. Oh, customize. Uh, we're, we're just going to keep him fairly default to what he is. I think I've already managed to change his face around. Okay, well, whatever. I hate his hair. His hair is awful. So, what kind of... He's a sniper. So what would a sniper have? Probably less on the hair. Ah, apparently right-clicking closes out of it. That's a problem. Uh, that old man hair. I wish I could, you know, zoom in specifically on his face and look around. It's like a, you know, Caesarish haircut. I mean, it's Beatlesy or Biebery for sure, but not keen on that. Oh hell no. Uh, well we're gonna have one guy with that haircut for sure, because that's hilarious. That's an awful helmet. It's okay. No, 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 no. Well, yeah. Actually. Wow, there's a lot of helmets here. I like how they uh, don't always spawn in with the most amount of like modeling on them. That's actually really cool. I think once I get the characters more heavy armor, I'll start giving them helmets. Well, there we go. We found the helmet for our sniper, I think. I'm just going to keep going down the list, seeing as we've got a number of things to look at. But, I, wow. A trilby. Uh, okay, there's 36. There we go. Uh, for some reason, he really looks like a Spartan, kind of. But it works. I like that. I like the uh, little British flag, too. Let's see, seeing as he's going to be a sniper, what color can we go with? Hair color. Haha! -ha! Hair color. Uh, skin color. He could be any color. It does not matter. Anyway, armor tint. Okay, so these are different color sets. Seeing as he's going to be the sniper. Uh, there we go. That's probably a good one. So, remember 10. I want to see if I can... New. No! Do not want to dismiss him. Curse my fat fingers. Anyway, armor tent. Ten is probably going to be what we go with. That's not bad. A yellow jacket look. Uh, but I wanted to see if I could find some uh, different black. That's actually not bad. I like this. I like this is a good one. And then art deco. Oh, it's just the different armor types. I think they've added to them because this one's cool. Uh, I like it for the sniper. It does kind of make him look like, um, oh shoot, that villain from... Metal Gear Solid, but I'm totally okay with that, because it looks a little bit on the lighter side. Also, it does kind of look like he should be blowing things up. Anyway, so that's uh, Jack Wright, a.k.a. Uh, Philbert Stevenson, I don't know. Uh, if you guys want to make up really silly names for these guys, I'm open to suggestions, and or if you want me to name them after uh, other YouTubers I hang out with. Or other YouTubers I don't hang out with. Or yourself. Heck, if you want to be, uh, name something, just tell me and I'll make you one of the, uh, Expendables or something. 
Eh. Okay. And, of course, I'm going to give this guy a scope. Because, well, it's sniping. Body armor, can't change anything. Sniper, pistol, can't change anything. Okay, so, next person. Uh, Colonel Jack O'Neill. Yes. Okay, we're, we're putting this guy on. That is not what Jack O'Neill looks like, though. Jack O'Neill... Uh, I mean, he looks like MacGyver, because he is MacGyver. I mean, he's Irish enough. Uh, I guess it makes sense from a name perspective. What faces do we got here? Oh, these are heads. Ugh. I'm trying to remember specifically what Colonel Jack O'Neill looked like. I guess 10 kind of works. I mean, it's kind of the dad face, but... Uh, it's not like they give you character sliders or anything like that. So we'll just go with 10 and just pretend that's what he looks like. Uh, he was actually kind of pale. He did not have a mustache, so no facial hair whatsoever. Could actually make him look very, uh, very silly. Uh, that's not the right one. Okay, so no facial hair. And then he had hair. Not that hair. But it was, like, hair-ish. God, I'm trying to remember. I think this was close enough, and his hair color was gray. Not hot pink. Not... Wow. These are, these are some really awesome colors. Uh, yeah, that's probably about as close as we're going to get. And then he was... Yeah. So Colonel Jack O'Neill... I mean, currently he's a rookie, but I, I everyone has to start somewhere. And, I mean, realistically, I'm not exactly sure what MacGyver's uh, specific role in the military was, but... Uh, hmm. Anyway, so, seeing as he's Colonel Jack O'Neill, he's going to be going around, and I guess the more generic stuff. It looks light, it looks mobile, and, um, yeah, you know, there aren't any Stargates in this game, but if there was a company to make a good Stargate game, actually, I would actually put, uh, Firaxis in charge. Pretty much just reskin XCOM as Stargate, it would be perfect, except for, you know, instead of Roswell Grays, it's... Just more humans that are supposedly aliens, kind of, sort of, that have weird snake hel helmets on. Awesome! Okay, so now, uh, I'm gonna have to remember to bring him along the next time around, considering he is a particularly special person. And then let's, uh, let's mess with it, Metaxis, even though, even though he is a little bit on the injured side. Hair color, what can we change? I think he should be dark. I mean, really, I guess he's... I, uh, we're pretty much done, we just want to switch around the armor tint. Interestingly enough, uh, Salt has different stuff. And seeing as he's going to be a Salt, I think he should be red. That high collar only looks good with armor. I'm, I have half a mind to keep him with this armor, just because it looks the most unique. Because the other two are actually uh, the same no matter what character class you're using, I think. So yeah, we'll keep him with that one. There we go. Uh, you know what? Uh, I really want to just rename him Ron Swanson. Uh, wait, no, never mind. Got a better name. Uh, Swan Ronson. There we go. Swan Ronson. Uh, Squatty Ronson. I still don't know exactly what uh, ethnicity he's supposed to be. Uh, English language, so I don't know. Whatever. And what other characters do we have? Uh, Kazmarak. Wow, this is a person. I do not like that haircut. Uh, for those of you sticking around, seriously, if, if, you want, if you want me to change anything, I'm down to clown with pretty much anything. Except for this guy's facial hair. What should he, he be? I want a dude with, like, a full-out beard. Like, maybe, maybe not an old man. It would be hilarious if there's a facial hair option. God, they have the awkward French stash. Come on, give me, like, a massive beard here. Nope. Guess, uh... Guess it's... Where is it? There we go. That's about the uh, most massive beard we can possibly get. That's a bit disappointing. Oh, well. Uh, facial hair. I think... Uh, what what hair can we give this guy? We could give him cornrows. We could have him be that. Oh, right. I need to have a character that's just essentially guile. Well, never mind. Uh, I guess facial hair is going away. I'll have to look up what guile's name is. Uh, eh, pretty much close. Hair color. Well, there we go. We just made Guile by accident. Awesome. And he's... Hmm, no, he should not be Guile. Uh, Guile needs to be Assault for sure. 
So I guess let's just uh, go back to customizing this guy until we can find it. Oh, right. Could just have a dude. Oh, right. I want to have a dude in this. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Facial hair. Back to the beard. Oh, right. Hair color should probably be something other than uh, blonde because you're never going to be able to see it otherwise. There we go. Black. Black beard. God, the, uh, some of the mustaches. There we go. Hey, it's Joker. Except for with headphones on. Oh, well. Uh, anyway. Armor tint. What color should this guy be? I'm always a fan of this color, but let's see if we can find. So four is a good one. Especially for support. It's kind of like emergency personnel. Easy to spot. Which, I mean, there we go. Hot pink. Done. I, I don't know. Uh, it might be a little glaring. Let's see. Anything else? Wow. Yellow purple. That was that was pretty blinding. Okay, so I think we're going to want to go... Ooh, hello. Yeah, four. So I think four is going to be our support man here. What art deco can I go with? I could put him in the heavy armor, but I don't know. The, this version of the heavy armor just... It kind of works, it kind of doesn't. It doesn't work with a hat, which I think is the main point of resistance I've got going here. So we'll just keep him light. Facial hair, hair helmet, skin color. Yeah, so I think we're pretty much good here on this guy. And I think that's good enough for the squad. Man, the armor makes them all look a little bit on the wider side, but that's okay. So, uh, for those of you that stuck with this long, again, if you want a uh, hand in the matter of uh, who I'm picking, just ask. Anyway, I will see you all on the next episode of XCOM Enemy Within, and we will take our newly fancified uh, soldiers off to battle. See you guys then, and as always, thanks for watching.